started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. You were his second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. How does a human soldier get to serve with a sari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with a Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it, but I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained Pathfinder, and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? 
Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Back again? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory, while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. It was time to forge my story and my horizons, and to give Sarah a shot at making the discovery of a lifetime. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? After four years with Asari Commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm... Uh... Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus.
You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <sighs> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. That's just the one thing you want me to know about you. Let's start with that then. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. <sighs> Tell you what. I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right. Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? Oh, is it my turn to talk? Ha! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I should work on my motor. You might find that people reveal themselves more freely if you give them a chance. Core included. Really good advice. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? 
I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd. But I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's nothing about the universe that suggests a divine intelligence. And most of what we've seen in Helios is artificial, as you said yourself. Yes, but we're creative beings. Whoever made the Remnant was too. Why should that be proof against a god? Wouldn't a true creator want to pass on the drive to invent? If everything was set in place by some mysterious creator, why even be a scientist? If I have reverence for a creator, how could I not want to study their creation? My faith does not hinder my work as a scientist. It encourages it. My senses tell me what the world is. Science shows me how it came to be. And religion tells me why. Science and religion have always been at odds. No amount of rationalization is going to change that. Shall we agree to disagree? Our beliefs are clearly incompatible. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> when did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager... Let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found god. But your work as a scientist... Convinced me even more. Especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I take you work closely with the Nexus science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the guests. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The Initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. 
there's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half-finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right, after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the Ark back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. What can I do for you? If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything. By memory. It was quite the effort to get her working. The initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate, and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? By. Legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into forty-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh no. I'm not falling for that again. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I'll admit it. Gil's rather irritating. He insists on redesigning systems rather than maintaining them. He likes to do things his way. Hmm, that doesn't make it the right way. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Liam's quite fun. Not many humans have that kind of energy. I probably shouldn't have told him there are secret compartments in the armory, though. He's been looking all day. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Dr. Tapero seems nice, if quiet. It must be very different here, compared to the Hyperion. Fewer people in stasis shock. Let's keep it that way. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Given Drax's history with Salarians, it's probably better I just stay out of his way. Too bad. That Grunion roast he makes smells delicious. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I like PB. But I really hope she doesn't lean on the escape pod's manual release by accident. Is that easy to do? It's an escape pod. If it's difficult to use, you're doing it wrong. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Vetra's very kind. She actually got hold of some dried seaweed snacks for me. Said I needed feeding up. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I don't talk to Cora much. 
She always seems so busy. There are things I'd like to ask her about your father, but it never seems like a good time. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Oh, <laughs> if I gossip anymore, I'll get in trouble. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Strike team ready for deployment. talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Hmm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tan. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How did you and Vetra meet? Ha, huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Kesh's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Kesh all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. 
So about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! <laughs> the list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now, centuries, shit, well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable, the works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corkro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, Com and Cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Wraiths are sneaky little shits, like to ghost up behind you when you least expect it. Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their headplates, then a headshot should do the trick. <laughs> 